Chapter 231 In this scene, you can see three deities of the Divine Clan forming a circle with a blue orb at the center that is steadily growing in size. This orb, a combination of their immense powers, now targets the Dark King. The distance between them and the Dark King is approximately 100 meters. It's hard not to marvel at the Dark King's incredible regenerative abilities, which might even surpass the Divine Tree. However, his current form is nothing but a grotesque mass of lava. His bloodshot eyes seethe with fury as he realizes these divine beasts are attempting to seal him once more. How could they? After all the efforts he had put in to return, everything had just begun. The elephant god calmly injects his power into the orb with his trunk, saying, Indeed, we have come together for one purpose only, to seal you away forever. As he finishes speaking, the blue orb is launched. Its power is unfathomable, visible as a dense mass of energy the size of a house. One could guess that this orb uses water as its primary energy source, containing a complex structure specifically designed for sealing. The Dark King immediately senses the impending danger, suspecting this to be one of those notorious sealing techniques. The orb rapidly approaches, large enough to engulf him entirely. However, a portal opens up to his left. The Dark King quickly perceives the portal's ominous nature, reeking of extreme danger. As the orb presses against him with supersonic force, pinning him down like a bug underfoot, the portal expands, ready to swallow him and the orb whole. Realizing escape is futile, the Dark King curses loudly, Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! You bastards! Yet, he then sneers, Hee hee! Do you really think you can succeed? Feigning fear? Perhaps. He then unleashes his dark claws, dozens of his red eyes gleaming with murderous intent. The black aura around him morphs into claws, striking back. What is he planning? In an instant, one claw impales the elephant god, causing blood to gush out like a waterfall. The attack is so powerful it lifts the elephant god into the air leaving him to utter meaningless cries as he succumbs to a fatal wound. The other two deities brace themselves for the deadly claws, but the Dark King's speed is astonishing. Who would have expected him to retaliate while being overwhelmed like this? This moment of surprise leaves everyone unable to react in time. No, not everyone. Lonely Panda and Shaoling do manage to respond. Their abilities surpass those of the three deities. Panda tears apart the deadly claws with his breath, while Xiao Ling opts to sever them. Xiao Ling shouted, Don't think you can stop us. Go to hell. The Dark King, furious, glared from within the blue orb that seemed to be encasing him. Could it be that the blue orb was meant to imprison him, while the space behind him was a portal to summon him back to his world? The Elephant God, breathing heavily, realized something was wrong. His spiritual power had weakened significantly due to the fatal wound causing the sealing orb to become fragile and unstable. The Dark King might actually break free. Just as he spoke, a surge of spiritual fire shot toward the Dark King, merging into the blue orb. The Divine Tree also acted, using its earth elemental power, shouting, You will not escape. Return to your world. Streams of pure brown energy surged forth, immediately blending into the sealing orb. The Dark King's eyes darted around in panic, left and right, as fear took hold. The orb was wrapping tighter and tighter around him, almost completely enclosing him. The sealing orb's purpose seemed not only to confine the target, but also to drain their power proportional to how much the orb enveloped them. At that moment, everyone gave their all, even the Elder Panda, channeling their spiritual energy into the orb. In that split second, the orb fully closed and suddenly vanished before everyone's eyes. The portal also sealed shut. What happened? Had he been expelled? Only a lingering spatial crack remained, slowly mending. Shaoling sighed in relief. Thank goodness we did it. Everyone remained still, unable to believe what had just happened. The divine tree formation had been relatively easy, thanks to the support of all the earthly forces. The dragon god, now spitting blood had reached his limit. Despite his condition, he felt relief knowing he had fulfilled the ancestral mission after years of preparation. The lonely old panda was sniffing the air, but found nothing, 
confirming the demon had indeed been expelled. The divine tree began to consider dealing with the beasts outside and then resting. The elephant god collapsed, unable to stand any longer. The seahorse god was sweating in worry. The elephant god's wounds were severe. It was a miracle he had held on this long. Considering dark attribute wounds are penetrating and hard to heal. Once pierced, the wounds necrotize rapidly. Shaolin quickly took out a vial of life essence. Scolding him, Shaolin said, I told you to bring life essence, but you didn't listen. The elephant god, grimacing in pain, replied, Didn't you have it here as well? It seemed the elephant god was in great pain, but no matter. Once he drank the liquid, the pain would vanish instantly. Suddenly, a dark spiritual energy shot forward with astonishing speed, grazing past the head of the seahorse god and instantly killing him. Xiao Ling was horrified, unable to react in time. His eyes widened in shock. Damn it! The seahorse god collapsed, his head blown off, dying instantly. The elephant god roared in terror, his bloodshot eyes filled with veins, paralyzed by absolute fear. The elder panda's mouth gaped in astonishment. Could it be the Dark King? Immediately after, a razor-sharp stream of spiritual energy darted towards him, slicing through his flesh upon contact, sending him flying and pinning him against a large rock. If not for the many times the lonely old panda had fortified his skin, he would have ended up like the seahorse god. The divine tree noticed a space above cracking open. Damn it! The divine tree hadn't anticipated the worst-case scenario happening and was momentarily stricken with horror. The space where they had just sealed the Dark King was fracturing, with countless sounds of shattering glass echoing ever louder. After an enormous crash, a red eye appeared, glaring at everyone. The Dark King roared mockingly, Did you really think such outdated tricks could seal me? Simultaneously, the dragon god and the elephant god launched a desperate attack, determined to use their last breath to prevent the Dark King's return. However, darkness poured out from the cracks, increasingly filling the space. The Dark King retaliated immediately, unleashing his dark shock. The black and purple darkness morphed into long spears, piercing through both the dragon god and the elephant god in an instant, before they could even complete their ultimate techniques. The elder panda summoned Susanu for defense and leaped back, cursing angrily, blood streaming from his eye sockets. You bastard! You dare to blind me! The Dark King, with no time for insults, frantically purchased and mimicked skills, then reinforced his body, spending a whopping 300,000 evolution points. His form changed, resembling a large bear shrouded in darkness with a blood-red eye on its face. The Dark King delivered an immensely powerful punch, completely shattering the lonely old panda's Susanu and even striking his true form within, causing him to spew blood continuously, his internal organs severely damaged. Damn it, that punch was too powerful. It turned out the Dark King had copied the panda's own skill, but the strength he wielded was overwhelmingly superior. The Dark King continued acquiring skills, this time purchasing a devouring ability. He then used dark tendrils to ensnare the elephant god and the panda. His intent was clear, to consume them and further augment his physique and attributes. The panda and the elephant god were completely absorbed into his grotesque, dark mass. Xiao Ling watched in terror as she realized she was the next target. Dark tendrils shot toward her, transforming into a gaping, menacing maw ready to engulf her. Damn it, his creativity made him unpredictable. Fortunately, at that critical moment, the divine tree intervened, delivering a powerful punch to the tendrils. Xiao Ling, retreat immediately, the divine tree commanded. Now, it was time for the divine tree to face the final boss in a true solo battle. An epic showdown, a one-on-one -on -one fight that would determine everything, was about to begin. End of chapter 231